Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day to be alive. And I want to work at shining my light and spreading my love with the help of Father, Son, and the blue skies, and my boys and my girl. So if you want to grab a rattle or a drum, um, get some liquid, water preferably, and come back. We'll start off by smudging, and then I'm going to drum for a little bit just to calm us down, to like get into a good space, and then I want to do, um, do the meta prayer today. So see how it goes. Imagine the smoke wafting over you, letting go of what's no longer ours to carry, letting go of what's not in our best and highest interest. Letting go so that we have room to be in the present moment. Letting the darkness fall away. Letting the struggles, the worries, the anxiety just fall into Mother Earth with ease. <clears throat> I'm going to open up light around myself and around us. A beautiful healing light. Feel my arms come around you, surround you with light that is full of love, warmth, affection, and protection. <sighs> Father, Son, we invite you into the sacred space here today. Ancestors, we welcome you here. We value your wisdom, your experiences, and your protection. Guides, thank you for being here for us each and every day, even when we don't see you, feel you, or hear you, we know that you are here. So we op open up this sacred healing space here this morning for the good of all. We want to open up our hearts. We want to open up our minds. <clears throat> we want to live as true beings of light and love, whatever that looks like for each individual. We want to work towards that. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, um, let's check in with ourselves first. So how are you this morning? <coughs> Emotionally, on a scale of one to ten. Pick a number. Physically, how are you this morning? Any aches and pains? Any stiffness? Headaches, stomach aches, whatever. 
So go throughout your body and like do a little bit of assessment and then pick a number from one to 10. And then spiritually, how are you today? Are you feeling connected? Are you completely disconnected? Pick a number. All right. Grab a drum, grab a rattle, use your voice, dance. This is just to get us connected to ourselves. Dancing is a great way to relieve stress. I find drumming very soothing. Rattling is soothing as well. Singing is a great way of expressing yourself and opening up your throat and heart chakras. So do whatever you want to do.
I will be right back. You just sit and enjoy the peace and I want you to check in with your emotional being, your physical being and your spiritual being again. Now, um, you can either sit up or you can lie down and get comfortable. This Foxy's not happy and she's trying to get into something, but I don't know what. Foxy, come here. Come on, sweetie. Your sound. I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth with a sigh. <sighs> with each breath you take and let go of, I want you to feel yourself sinking further and further into the warm embrace of Mother Earth. If you're lying in the sun, I want you to feel Father Sun's warmth upon your face, upon your body. If you're not, just imagine it. Again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Letting go a little bit more. One more time. <sighs> Feel the worry start to slip away. The weekend is here. A time, hopefully for some, for rest and relaxation, for having fun, for recharging our batteries. Sink further and further into relaxation with each breath you take, gently moving your body so that you are really comfortable, so you are settled in. I'm going to say the meta prayer line by line. I'll say it to you now so that you know what um, we're doing. So we're going to start off with may I, and we're going to like pray it over ourselves, and then we're going to switch over to may all beings. So may I be happy, healthy, and whole. May I have love, warmth, and affection. May I be protected from harm and free from fear. May I be alive, engaged, and joyful. May I experience inner peace and ease. So I'm going to say each line, and I want you to repeat it to yourself. And then I want you to take a deep breath in and let it go. And just like let these words permeate into your being. Now, if this does not feel true to you or this makes you feel uncomfortable, you can change the wording. You can say it anyways and just experiment with how it makes you feel. You can just tweak it however you want, or you can just lay in silence and let it be a prayer that I'm speaking over you. Okay, this is really distracting for me. I'm going to be back again. So just lay there and get deeper and deeper into relaxation. I'm back. 
Little Miss Foxy found a ball that had been missing for many weeks. So she's not in a meditative mood. She wants to play. All right. So I'm going to say the line. I want you to repeat it to yourself. <coughs> and I want you to take a deep breath in and let it all out and just let the words permeate your being. All right. May I be happy, healthy, and whole. May I have love, warmth, and affection. May I be protected from harm and free from fear. May I be alive, engaged, and joyful. May I experience inner peace and ease. As you lie there deeply relaxed, I am going to pray this prayer over you because I know that some of you aren't able to fully embrace this. Okay, so I will pray this for you. May you be happy, healthy, and whole. May you have love, warmth, and affection. May you be protected from harm and free from fear. May you be alive, engaged, and joyful. May you experience inner peace and ease. You deserve it, dear one. You are worth it, dear one. We all are. So now let's broaden it. And we're just going to include the whole universe, all beings. Our dogs, our cats. The furred ones, the feathered ones, the finned ones, the grandmothers, the trees, the plants, the energetic beings, the otherworldly beings, every human, all beings. Okay, so the same thing. I'm going to say the phrase. I want you to repeat it and then a deep breath in, let, a, let it all out and just sink into those words. May all beings be happy, healthy, and whole. May all beings have love, warmth, and affection. May all beings be protected from harm and free from fear. May all beings be alive, engaged, and joyful. All beings experience inner peace and ease. May we all know 
every single being what it is to love and to be loved. This is for the good of all and the harm of none. Lord, it be so. Okay, let's bring ourselves back to the present, back into the room where we're laying or we're sitting. Wiggle your toes a little. Take a deep breath in. And feel the air coming out of your body, either through your mouth or your nose. Stretch out your fingers. Oh. Oh. Give a little stretch or wiggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you have a few glass of water close by, when you're ready, open up your eyes and drink some some water. We are blessed to be alive. We are blessed if we are able to shine our light and spread our love. And for those of you who don't feel like you're there yet, there are those of us who are, how do I put it? We're here for you. We're holding space for you. There are many, many beings who are holding space for those who are not as far along on their journey yet. So how did that make you feel praying that prayer? When I first came across it, <clears throat> I was a very angry woman and I, I lived in the country and I'd sit in my pasture land that surrounded my house. And as I watched cars go past, I'd like scream it at the cars. <laughs> that was that was how I first started using the prayer because I, I I wanted to believe in this prayer. I wanted I I wanted this for all beings, but I wasn't quite there. But I started, so I started screaming it at people, and then, <laughs> and then eventually, you know, years later. I'm now here, I'm calm, and I'm able to genuinely feel it for myself, and I'm genuinely able to reflect it to others, and I really do want this for all of us. So one more time after this, after doing this short meditation, um, check in with your emotional being and your physical being and your spiritual being. If you're just getting started on your healing journey or you know experimenting with different tools and ways of being it's a good way to keep track or figure out what works for you what helps you feel nice and then you'll do it more if, if you keep track of what makes you feel better what decreases your pain level you're more likely to go do it again because you'll actually remember, oh, okay, drumming made me feel really good. Okay, doing the matter prayer didn't make me feel so really good that time. And then you can do what makes you feel really good. Let go of what doesn't make you feel really good. And then eventually more and more is going to make you feel good. That has completely been my experience. So I'm going to see if I can like show you Foxy here. You can probably hear her chewing on her ball, this little munchkin. Hey, Miss Foxy, where are you? There you are. Hey, it's a joyful day. You found your ball. Say good morning. Say good morning to everyone. Yeah. Oh, 
Lots of peace here, right? I love you all. I'm very honored to be sharing this with you, sharing my peace and my love and my, my light. So I'm off to get my day started now. I'm off to have a spectacular weekend. It's going to be gorgeous here. It is gorgeous here. It's not going to be. It is gorgeous. The snow is going to melt again. The birds are going to start flapping their wings furiously, make up for the past few days of being in a blizzard. And it's just all wonderful. Namaste.